Well guys, here it is. This is the new garage in all its glory. All night. <laughs> uh, one light. So, yeah, here it is. So, turn this light on here. But, <laughs> so, we're moving into the new house, and this is what I am going to have to work with. So, standard two car garage in England. A little bit wider in the corners, so I can put some stuff, maybe put some shelves against the wall. But I, I mean, I haven't measured it to see how much square footage I'm losing compared to the old place, but uh, you know, this could be what's gonna be. Definitely don't have my, my nice shelves going up around the edge. I gotta get rid of this thing, this thing is sad. I need that space, benches and tools, and who knows what else, but uh, yeah. And I gotta improve the lighting. This is all I got other than the, uh, the light that comes on with the garage door opener, but uh, and I'm gonna have this little beeping sound. This thing's got solar panels on the roof. I don't know if you can hear a little beeping. So I have no idea what all this stuff does yet. I'm gonna sit here and figure it out one day. But uh, yeah, what I got starting on is <laughs> I found two old cans of white paint, masonry, masonry. Got some junk, so before anything gets moved in here, I want to throw some paint on the walls real quick and uh, just try to help the place out as much as I can before anything else gets moved in and it gets a lot more complicated. So uh, here I go. And well guys, after about three weeks of work, I'm moving. Uh, this is what I got. <laughs> I painted this wall and this wall. I used almost five gallons of paint just to do those two walls because the paint that they sell here for masonry is absolute garbage. But it's all I could get. So I didn't even want to start this wall because I didn't want to have to pay another probably 60 bucks for another couple gallons of paint, even though I'm just putting shelves up there. So I'm not really going to see it. <laughs> so uh, I built these shelves. So I wish I had some more, but the way that things are up in the attic, I had to go up through the crawl space, you know, and drop some two by fours down, attach them to the, the joist up there. But it's going so i got some some good panel lighting i got two more behind the hood there that i want to stick on the ceiling to light it up some more but <laughs> tried to at least match the configuration a little bit of the way the old garage was set up but you know, i had to figure out what to do i had to buy a shelf but yeah that is what has been going on and i am tired of moving it is one of the most abominable things you can do as an adult. The older you get, the worse it is. John will be here in a little bit. I got the space for the coop. So I'm gonna go to the old house. I'm gonna bring it down here and see how little room I have left once it's in here. Hopefully John will be here in a few minutes and off we go. Well, I was just gonna jump in and, uh, sure. and get going. So, uh, I got all my cameras going, so yeah. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah.
time in this driveway. And there you have it. So uh, <laughs> she barely fits. I still gotta hang the hood. I gotta get a bigger hook or something to just go into the uh, cinder block. Move some of that stuff. I got a couple inches to the back of the bumper. And this is, the... but it's here safe. Things are happening. And I'm gonna get back into the uh, making videos here soon, so. The uh, 302 project is about to kick off hard. As soon as I get that to the machine shop, I still got the heads in the box here. And all the other parts still got to sort through, but uh, yeah, it's going to start happening. Going to get a T5 in for rebuild. I got another 302 that a guy wants me to start working on. And uh, some more work on John and Pete's car. So uh, yeah, sorry for the long uh, hiatus of videos, but they'll start coming. Slow and regularly, uh, things are gonna start happening. So thanks guys, just a little update and I'll catch you guys soon.